Okay, what I'm going to show here is how to make a movie within a movie. And I'll start with a quick shape. Let's get some color. I'm going to make this just the basic clock face idea. Um, but I'm not really going to do too much with it yet. First thing I'm going to do with this basic shape is window it and go to modify and convert it into a symbol. And we'll call this thing clock. And that'll be a movie clip. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to double click it and go into it. Notice I'm in scene one right now. As I double click it, I'm now inside of the clock movie clip. Once I'm inside here, I can go ahead and add more layers and more information. For example, I want another layer that'll have the uh, different positions of the clock uh, to show different time. So, and I'm going to do this in a big hurry. So, uh, I'll just go with those def default colors. Let's do that. I'm trying to make this short and sweet. Let's say that I'm happy with that as my clock design. Two layers. And let's put on another layer. Um, this will be for the clock uh, hand, the hour hand. So I'm just going to build that out here. Again, doing everything in a big hurry. So we have a short video. Let's say that works. Now, I'm going to take that and select it and modify it and turn it into a movie clip also. And I'll just call it hour for hour hand. And I'm going to take that movie clip and move it into position and animate it going around. So that means I need some more keyframes, right? So uh, to be able to see where it's animating, I need to extend these other keyframes to show the clock face later also. So what I'm going to do is go to layer 1 and just hit F5 and just extend the background for the clock and hit F5 here to add empty keyframes to that as well. And so now on layer 3 where the hour hand is, and I'll even put hour here so you can see that. Okay. I'm going to put in another keyframe, but what this is going to be is F6. I'm going to put in a new keyframe that copies the existing in place. Okay, so this is a copy of the hand, but this copy of the hand is going to be different because I'm going to use the free transform tool and move the center of rotation down here and then rotate it to, let's say, 3 o'clock. And then I'm going to do it again. F6. I'm going to rotate it again to 6 o'clock. F6. I'm frame 15 now. And then finally, F20. I mean, I'm frame 20. F6 again, bring it back to where it was. And now we should see it rotating. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and put in a tween. So I'm going to pick on frame 1 and say that I want a motion tween. And on frame 5, I want a tween to the next frame. And on frame 10, motion tween. And on frame 15, motion tween. So now you can see it's got a smooth turn. And it's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we're doing right here. Finally, I'm going to go back to scene 1. And it's all, all this stuff resides on one frame, on one layer, which is the beauty of a movie within a movie. Because now I can go to frame 5, hit F6, and move this entire clock face somewhere else. And do it again, F6, and move it over here. And now I'm going to take frame 1 and copy that frame and go to frame 15 and paste that frame. So I've moved it exactly to where it was when it began now. And now just go to each frame and make it a motion tween. So it's going to smoothly move from one to the other. 
And so the idea here is that we have motion within motion. As we move this around, the hour hand is rotating. But it's not rotating, and it won't rotate until we actually test it out. So I'll go to Control, Test Movie, and you can see, although it's moving a little fast and it hasn't been well thought out as far as how long it's going to take, you can see that the hand is turning and the clock is flying around.